Dear students, in order to explain the fourth and fifth module of design of hydraulic structures, we are going to start a new lecture series. So this is our lecture series number one. I think you know our fourth and fifth module syllabus. Entirely the fourth module consists of gravity dump portion and fifth module portion consists of arch dump portion. For the time being, let's start with the gravity dam portion. And the portions included in the gravity dam or, or in the fourth module are types of gravity dams, selection of site, stability analysis, elementary profile and practical profile of gravity dams, and various functions of a dam like shaft, key, water stops and different types of gallery etc. So in order to start with for the time being let's start with the topic gravity dam. I will explain you what is the difference between a gravity dam and an arch dam. As like any other dam, gravity dam is also a kind of structure, water retaining structure, in which the horizontal water pressure is being withstand through the self weight of the dam. While in case of an arch dam, the horizontal water pressure is withstand by arch action. Arch action means finally the entire load is being transferred to the side abutments. This is the basic difference between gravity dam and arch dam. So to start with the topic gravity dam, again I am explaining a gravity dam is a structure in which the horizontal water pressure is being withstand through the self weight of the dam. Now let's discuss the classification of dams. These are basic introductory topics. You can refer BC Punya for further notes of these topics. So dams are divided to different purposes according to use, according to hydraulic design, according to material, whether it, whether it is rigid dam or non-rigid dam then according to load transfer here comes the classification of different types of dams based on load transfer that is gravity dam arch dam and buttress dam in the introduction itself i told you the difference between a gravity dam and an arch dam buttress dam is a type of dam in which number of buttresses of ps buttresses means these are inclined columns which separate along the length of the dam. These are the different types of dams based on load transfer. Coming to next topic, these are the factors for selection of site for a dam. The various factors to be considered are foundation, topography, site of spillway, material using which material the dam is being constructed then another important parameter reservoir and catchment area only if we could able to collect the desired amount of water there is a meaning of constructing the dam in that particular area so reservoir and catchment area is also very important then communication and locality of dam is also very important now we are moving to very important portion of gravity dam that is forces acting on gravity dams. You can see that there are 8 different types of forces acting on gravity dam. But for stability analysis in exam point of view we will concentrate only the first 3 kind of gravity dams. Sorry first three kind of forces acting on gravity dams that is weight of the dam water pressure 
and uplift pressure. These are the three major forces that to be considered while doing the stability analysis of gravity dam. Other types of forces are wave pressure, silt pressure, ice pressure, wind pressure and earthquake forces. Now we will see each of these forces and we will understand the equations of each of these forces. The very first force that is weight of the dam. You know that as far as a gravity dam is concerned, weight of a dam is the stabilizing force of a gravity dam. And the weight of the dam per unit length can be calculated using the equation area into unit weight of material. This is an important equation. We require this equation when doing the stability analysis of gravity dams. For concrete, this unit weight of the material can be taken as 24 kN per m cube and for masonry unit it can be 23 kN per m cube. In general, weight of dam per unit length equal to area into unit weight of the material with which the dam is constructed. The second type of force is water pressure. You know that for every dam, water pressure is an important type of force that to be analyzed and the dam is supposed to withstand this water pressure and water pressure can be on the upstream side and on the downstream side of the dam also. Generally, the equation for finding water pressure intensity is W into capital H. In, throughout in gravity dams problem, we will use capital H in order to explain the height of water level in the upstream and small h is the height of water level in the downstream. Here W is the unit weight of water. Unit weight of water is 9.81 kN per m cube. In some case, you have to take the unit weight of water as in ton meter square, it will be ton per m cube. So, unit weight of water can be 9.81 kN per m cube or 1 ton per m cube. So, water pressure intensity equal to W into H. For example, if you consider a problem, see, this is a type of gravity dam which is having capital H that is upstream water height equal to 80 meter and downstream water height small h, h equal to 6 meter. For this, see, this is the triangular water pressure diagram on the upstream and this is the downstream water pressure diagram. From the previous slide, we understand that the intensity of water pressure is WH. So, if you take this figure, this intensity means that base of the water pressure intensity diagram is W into capital H and you know this is the height of water level. So, if you want to calculate the force due to water, you have to take the area of this triangle at upstream and area of this triangle at downstream. If you take the area of triangle, it will be half into base into height. Your base is unit weight of water W into capital H and your height is capital H. So, half into WH into capital H. It will be finally W capital H square by 2. 
and when it comes to downstream side it will be the base will be unit weight of water w into small h and the height of the triangle will be small h finally the force due to water will be w into small h square by 2 at the downstream direction now this horizontal water pressure will be acting at a height of h by 3 from the base of the triangle both at upstream and downstream of the water pressure diagram that is why here that is why here it is marked as capital h by 3 and small h by 3 so in general the water pressure intensity can be calculated using the equation w into capital h and the force due to water pressure equal to w h square by 2 now coming to the third type of force that is uplift pressure you know that there will be seepage of water through the foundation of any hydraulic structure so when water seeps through the foundation uplift pressure occurs this is uplift pressure due to seepage of water this uplift pressure can be calculated based on three cases case one when there is no tail water case two when there is tail water case three when there is drainage gallery present and tail water is also there let's see the different cases of case one case two and case three this is case one that is when there is no tail water when there is no tail water see this is capital H is the upstream level of water so the uplift pressure diagram will be a triangular shape with WH as the height where W is the unit weight of water and H is the water level at upstream this is case 1 when there is no tail water now moving to the case 2 when there is tail water you know that every time we will express the height of water at the downstream side that is tail water as small h so when there is tail water the shape will be a trapezium with w h intensity at the upstream and w into small h intensity at the downstream again w is the unit weight of water this is case 2 when there is tail water coming to the last case that is case 3 when there is drainage gallery and tail water also there is upstream water that is capital H when there is drainage gallery an additional ordinate will be here and the ordinate will be w into you can see the equation small h plus capital H minus small h divided by 3 so like the case 2 at upstream side there will be w into capital H at the downstream side there will be w into small h an additional ordinate below the drainage gallery and that can be calculated using this equation if you know capital H small h and w where small w is again unit weight of water so again concentrating on the first three type of forces weight of the dam water pressure and uplift pressure more details of these three kind of forces will be detailedly explaining in the upcoming lecture where we will see the stability analysis of a gravity dam let's discuss furthermore other different types of forces wave pressure this is due to the waves occurring and the wave pressure can be calculated using this particular equation where w is the unit weight of water and hw is the height of waves in meter and other details you can see 
need not to be very important in stability analysis point of view but in exam point of view if it is asked to write the different type of forces acting on gravity dam this is important again fifth one is silt pressure and the silt pressure can be calculated using this particular equation and the various terms are explained here sixth one ice pressure and uh, this ice pressure condition is not applicable uh, in most of the cases for south indian region but it may be applicable in north india and other countries seventh one is wind pressure you know that due to the effect of wind you have to consider the wind pressure also for the analysis of gravity dams and the last kind of force earthquake forces the earthquake forces are further divided to two hydrodynamic pressure and horizontal inertia force here are the equations how to find the horizontal inertia force and hydrodynamic pressure due to earthquake forces these are the eight different types of forces acting on gravity dam again the important forces are first three type weight of the dam water pressure and uplift pressure these three forces are very important to do the stability analysis of dams in our upcoming lecture we will be detailing the stability analysis of dams with example thank you